in this uh, session we will discuss about uh, boundary conditions at the interface between two dielectrics uh, for uh, electrostatic fields so we will discuss about the boundary conditions so first of all we will try to understand uh, what are the boundary conditions we are studying so let us say we have uh, an interface between two dielectric materials let us say this material has uh, permittivity epsilon 1 and this material has permittivity epsilon 2 so here we have the electric field E2 in medium 1 and uh, the electric field here is E1 at the boundary. Okay, So at the boundary, let us say the electric field is E1 and here uh, the electric field is E2 in uh, medium 2. Okay, So this is uh, medium 1 and this is medium 2. So we are interested in finding out the relationship between the fields uh, at the interface between the two media. But here we cannot uh, directly obtain the relationship between E1 and E2. Uh, so we will uh, resolve this uh, field into tangential components and normal components. So here E1 t is the tangential component of electric field E1 in medium 1 and it is at the boundary. Okay. Similarly, E1 n is the normal component of the electric field E1 at the boundary. And similarly, E2 also we can resolve into normal component and tangential component. So let us say this is E2T. So we will uh, obtain the relationship between the tangential components of the fields on either side of the boundary that is uh, between E1T and E2T and uh, so that is uh, what is the relationship between the tangential component that is between E1T and E2T. So what is the relationship between them and also we will try to obtain the relationship between the fields E1n and E2n. So that is the relationship between normal components and relationship between the tangential components of the electric fields at the boundary. Okay. So first of all we will uh, obtain uh, the relationship between the fields tangential to the boundary. So let us say this is medium 1 with permittivity epsilon 1, medium 2 with permittivity epsilon 2 and uh, the, the tangential component of the field at the boundary in medium 1 is E1 t and the tangential component of the electric field at the boundary in medium 2 is E2 t. So here we will construct a, a closed path as shown in this figure. So this closed path is given by A, B, C, D, A. So this is the closed path A, B, C, D, A. And uh, the height of this is uh, delta H by 2 
and this is delta h by 2. So the total height is delta h. It's very small and also this width is delta w. So we know that the static electric fields they satisfy the property that that is line integral of E that is tangential component of electric field around a closed path is equal to 0. Okay. So we will apply this to closed path A B C D A. We will call this as 1 applying 1 to closed path A B C D A. So here uh, the the normal component here is uh, uh, E1n and uh, the normal component here is E2n. So uh, we'll start from uh, AB. So along AB the electric field is E1t. So it is given by E1t into delta W. And along BC, so up, up to this portion it is. Uh, uh, E1 n. So, with negative sign we will take E1 n into delta h by 2 and here uh, the electric field here is E2 n and again we will take with a negative sign. So, ET1 into delta h by 2 and then here we will move along CD. So here uh, the electric field is uh, uh, the direction of the path here uh, is opposite to E to T. So therefore we will take with a negative sign. So E to T into delta W and here along from D to this path it will be uh, the field is uh, E to N and uh, this has to be taken with positive sign because uh, here the field is uh, directed along the path. So it is uh, E2n into delta h by 2 and along the path uh, along this path the field is E1n. So therefore and again with the positive sign we will take. So here we assume that this uh, width delta w is small. So the normal component of the field uh, here is not changing from uh, A to B. Okay, that is E1n uh, is uh, that is normal component here is E1n, and here also it is taken as E1n only. So from this equation we can observe that this uh, is cancelled with this and uh, this is cancelled with uh, this. So we are left with E1t delta w minus E2t delta w equal to 0. So therefore E1t is equal to E2t. So therefore, we can uh, observe that the tangential components of E so the tangential components of electric field E are the same on two sides of the dielectric dielectric boundary.
also from this result we can see that uh, because e1 t is equal to e is equal to d by epsilon so here for e1 t e1 t is equal to d1 t by epsilon 1 and e2 t is equal to d2 t by epsilon 2 so from this result we can also write that d1 t by epsilon 1 is equal to d2 t by epsilon 2 therefore d is discontinuous that is tangential components of d is discontinuous now we will consider the relationship between the tangential components of the fields at the boundary i am sorry uh, the normal components of the fields the normal components of the bond of the fields at the boundary so for this purpose we will again consider the same material So here we will uh, take D1N as the electric flux density that is normal component of the electric flux density at the boundary in medium 1 and D2N is the normal component of electric flux density at the boundary in medium 2 and here we will uh, try to obtain the relationship between the uh, this normal components of flux densities afterwards we can obtain from this we can obtain the relationship between the uh, normal components of electric fields and also uh, let us say at the boundary there is a surface charge okay so which is given by rho s so in order to derive the relationship between these two we can obtain i draw the figure here So we can draw, we can consider a pill box as shown in this figure. So which is extending equally in both medium. So that is this is uh, delta H by 2 and this is delta H by 2 and this area is delta S and here at the surface we have surface charge density rho s so we will obtain the relationship between d1n and dn2 okay dn1 and dn2 so this is dn1 so here we can apply uh, gauss law uh, to this uh, closed surface that is pill box and uh, so we know that gauss law is uh, given by this the charge enclosed and here the as delta h tends to zero so as delta h tends to 0 because we want to find out what is the field at the boundary so therefore uh, the field at the boundary uh, so as delta h tends to 0 you can see that the field at the top surface is same as the field at the boundary okay so therefore uh, as delta h tends to 0 we can see that the flux emerging from the top surface so so as delta h tends to 0 the flux density at the top surface is dn1 so where d1 dn1 is the normal component of the electric flux density at the boundary in medium 1 so this dn1 is the flux density at the top surface that into delta s will give you the flux emerging from the top surface 
and similarly the flux emerging from the uh, bottom surface. So this is the bottom surface. Since uh, this D N2 is uh, entering uh, this uh, bottom surface, so this has to be taken with a negative sign. So and uh, so here um, minus D N2 delta S and uh, the contribution to this integral due to the sides will be zero because as delta H tends to zero, the uh, the flux emerging from this uh, sides will be equal to zero. So therefore. I am sorry. So, here this is not uh, rho s, this is equal to the charge enclosed within this uh, closed surface. So, let us say here uh, this charge enclosed is uh, q. So, therefore, you can write d n 1 minus d n 2 is equal to q by delta s and here q is uh, present only in the uh, only at the surface. So only at the surface the uh, charge is uh, present. So it is a surface charge distribution. So and this surface charge is given by rho s. So the relationship between the normal components of the flux densities in, uh, in, the, in the media in that the interface between uh, two dielectric media is given by d n 1 minus d n 2 is equal to rho s where rho s is the surface char char charge density at the boundary. If rho s is equal to 0, then d n 1 is equal to d n 2. So, the two important uh, boundary conditions are that uh, the tangential the relationship between the tangential component of the electric field is given by E T 1 is equal to E T 2 and the relationship between the normal components of the electric field is given by D n 1 minus D n 2 is equal to rho s, but if rho s is equal to 0 then D n 1 is equal to D n 2 if rho s is equal to 0. From this also we can obtain uh, what is known as uh, law of refraction for electric fields at the boundary which is similar to uh, law of refraction in case of optics. So here we can observe that suppose uh, this angle is theta, okay, this is theta 1 and this angle is theta 2 that is here theta 1 is the angle made by E 1 with respect to the normal to the boundary and theta 2 is the angle uh, made by E 2 with respect to the normal to the boundary in medium 2. So, we can see that E 1 n is equal to E 1 cos theta 1 and E 1 t is equal to E 1 sin theta 1 and similarly E 2 n is equal to E 2 cos theta 2 and E 2 t is equal to E 2 sin theta 2. So, using these two relations you can see that E 1 t is equal to E 2 t. So, therefore, E 1 t is given by E 1 sin theta 1 and E 2 t is equal to E 2 sin theta 2. Let me call this as A and uh, for the condition where rho s is equal to 0, d n 1 is equal to d n 2 or epsilon 1 e n 1 is equal to epsilon 2 e n 2, but uh, since uh, e n 1 is equal to e 1 cos theta 1, so you can see that here, I am sorry here I should have mentioned it as e 1 n,
So e one n is equal to e d two to n. Here it is e one n e two n. So here we can observe that e one n is uh, e one cos theta one. So epsilon one e one cos theta one epsilon two e two n is given by here e two n is given by e two cos theta two. So we can say that it is a by b. So by dividing a by b. So we will be uh, obtaining sine theta one by epsilon one cos theta one sine theta two by epsilon two cos theta two. Or we can see that it is given by tan theta one by tan theta two is equal to epsilon one by epsilon two. This is known as law of refraction. For electrostatic fields at the boundary, uh, and this boundary is free of charge density. With this, uh, we'll stop this session. Thank you.